Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name's Mark and this is a story about a girl and a bird. So the story begins three years ago in 2016. We had our, one of our first community event sales and we met Amanda and Jan. And these two were scared of birds. Now, we had Fernando, and we still have Fernando, uh, but Fernando's predecessor is, uh, or was, Tom. Now, Tom was actually a wild turkey who uh, went to a, a, a country daycare and was hanging out with the kids. The parents got a little bit on edge, uh, so we went over and picked him up, and he had spent a uh, summer and a winter here on the farm fled in the spring and then Fernando kind of took over. Tom the turkey, he, he made quite an impact on the girls. Very scared of birds throughout their entire life and being with animals can show you what animals are really like. So Tara and Amanda were speaking on Facebook Messenger uh, and I've got the whole story here and I thought it best just to read off the story and show you some of the pictures and videos that Amanda took as everything was unfolding this past week. Amanda sang, so apparently I have a new friend. I've named him Henry. I couldn't just call him Bird. He was perched on the roof and on top of the shed watching me all day. And then all of a sudden he came to sit at the table in front of me. Not sure if it's a male or female. It won't leave me alone. It keeps coming to sit by wherever I am in the backyard. I managed to pick him up with a glove but he tried to bite me and was flapping his wing. So what that means is when they're flapping the wing, they're saying, get away. Um, it's an aggressive move that they'll use. Uh, and you'll see it quite often in the pigeon coop if there's two rivals kind of sitting next to each other. He's got a small yellow band on each of his feet. I tried to look close and there's no numbers or markings on them. They're just plain yellow. He's currently on the roof and when I look up he's peering down at me over the eaves trough. So Tara mentions that, well, this could be an old soul that's coming back to visit. Uh, and Amanda says, well, that's true indeed. She had an old friend of the family that passed a few years ago that she used to call Mama Jay, and she was like a, a mother figure to her. Uh, so when she mentioned Mama Jay to the pigeon, he started bobbing his head up and down and, and kind of going around in circles. So at this point, she mentions that she had to go out and run some errands, and she has a cat named Chong who uh, was peering out the window and, uh, and watching her little Henry while she was away. So as Henry was essentially homeless, <laughs> uh, she decided to make him a home. So she spent Sunday afternoon uh, building him a little house that he could call home. So she then contacted us and said, well, uh, she doesn't feel comfortable with him living in the big city with all those big city pigeons, I guess. Uh, so could she bring Henry out here? Uh, and maybe that's a good thing. We can set Henry up with a, uh, with a girlfriend from our pigeons uh, out in the yard. But then who knows? Uh, Henry could be the next Fernando, uh, which if you've watched this channel or you've visited our farm, uh, Fernando is, he has this thing for people. He loves people. Uh, he doesn't care so much for, uh, for his own kind. Uh, I'm going to play some of the videos uh, of Henry and how he's been interacting.
Yeah. Well, who wanted to be Mary Wayne? Are you sitting there first? Well, he came down and landed on the railing, but then Maggie came running down. Yeah. Flew off. He did that to me too. He likes bare feet. So then he was up there, and then I sat down here, and then he came down here. So I thought, okay, well, I'll sit down on the. Yeah, he, he likes bare feet. Are you videotaping? Yep. You should take off your shoe. Henry. He likes the feet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, I should have moisturized your leg. <laughs> have you guys tried it with your feet? No, I'm not. Yeah, uh, he went after mine. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, check out that foot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a foot fetish. <laughs> You're not the first, Henry. Speak to Fernando. <laughs> That's funny. You like your new home, eh, buddy? Yeah. There's always a reason, but you never know. Maybe he was mistreated in the bird world. You never know, right? Exactly. Not by a large foot, anyway. Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, he still loves that one, though. <laughs> oh, it'll follow her. Yeah. Let's go back to the shade. <laughs> Thank you. So one final thought, we informed Amanda that Henry appears to be a homing pigeon. So don't be alarmed if he comes knocking on your door once again. Only time will tell within the next few days. So that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content I'm putting out on YouTube, you can click on this icon here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can click on this link here to check out our website. Until next video, take care, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.